Welcome to School Bell Beauty. Today I'm going to do my third installment of my series of looks or inspired by Christmas songs. And this one is Dance of the Sugar Plum Fairies. Let me bring it in so you can see what I've done. Now I hope you can see in this glitter it's multi-colored. It looks purple in the jar but it doesn't end up remaining that way once you put it on. So let's just get started so I don't take up a whole lot of time. I'm going to start with my Urban Decay. This is the eyeshadow primer potion, the anti-aging one. I just have a little sample of it that I received. And you guys might be glad to see that you're not going to have to look at the same old compact that I've had for years and years and years. I think that was an old Mary Kay one or something. So anyway, here we go. Now I'm going to try really hard to not talk during the actual application process because what I always do is when I edit I speed through what I'm doing but I'm still talking and it looks ridiculous and you guys have no idea what I'm saying anyway so anyway okay I'm using two different palettes to do this today I'm going to use the Lorac Pro and then I'm going to use this Stila the Artful Eye Collectors Edition Volume 3 and I'm going to start with my Lorac Pro palette and I'm going to use the color Light Bronze, which is this one right here. And I'm just going to use a flat shader brush. I'm going to use my MAC 239. And I'm just going to pack that on the lower part of my eyelid. Okay, now I'm going to pick up a big fluffy brush, and this one is the MAC 224, but any just big fluffy brush will work, and the reason that I'm using one like this is because it's not going to really apply a lot of color in one spot, it's going to spread it out more, and I'm going to pick up this color right here, it's called Soft Violet. And I'm bringing this up above my brow bone. Okay, and once you've got that placed pretty much how you want, as much as you want on it, now I'm going to pick up my 217 and I'm going to go back into my Lorac Pro palette and I'm going to pick up the color Espresso, which is this dark brown one right here. And the reason I'm using that is because with that violet and adding some brown it's going to turn it into a deeper plum look. And I'm going to knock a little bit off by just thumping my brush. That's how I always do it guys because when you bang them on your makeup cases you could end up damaging the ferrule and ruining your brushes. So I'm always really careful not to do that. Now I'm going to take my 219 and I'm going to go back into my Stila palette and I'm going to pick up Light Apricot, which is this lightest color right here on the end. And I'm going to brown my tear duct, but I'm also bringing it about a quarter of the way in on my eyelid up here. my heater just kicked on. I know you guys could hear that. I noticed in my videos. My studio is right by the unit. Okay, now I'm going to go back to my this really big fluffy brush and I'm going to wipe it off just a tiny bit and then I'm going to go into my Lorac Pro and pick up 
deep purple. And I'm just going to barely touch into it and knock it off. Because I really don't want a lot of that color on. This is just to kind of create a blend out color is what I'm doing with this. Okay, I'm going to pick up my MAC 239 again, and I'm just going to switch to the other side. I'm going to go back to the Lorac Pro palette, and I'm going to pick up the color Cream, which is right here. And that's what I'm going to use as my highlight. And I'm going to pick this big fluffy brush up again, and I'm going to wipe it all off and blend. Now I'm going to pick up my Jordana eyeliner in purple and I'm going to run a pretty thick line underneath my lashes because I have quite a smoky underneath line going on. Now I'm going to pick up my smudge brush and smudge that out. And I'm just going to wipe it off and I'm going to go in with that first dark color, the espresso that I picked up from the Lorac Pro. And that's going to be the first down. Now I'm going to pick up the first light color, that light Violet from the Stila palette. And I just took it all the way from the apricot over to the espresso. Now I'm going to tight line with my Stila smudge stick and stingray. And I want to explain something on as far as terminology. When you line just your upper water line, that's just lining your upper water line. When you line your bottom line, it's just lining your bottom water line. It's when you line both of them, it's rimming or tight lining. So I just wanted to kind of clarify that in case, because I know some people out there are a little bit confused about that. Okay, now I'm going to get some glue and I'm going to put it on the back of my hand. I'm going to put just a drop of it because it doesn't really take that much. And then I'm going to take a synthetic brush and this glue will come out of this brush. But I'm using this because I want to be able to put this glitter exactly where I want it. And then very quickly before it sets, before it starts to dry, you want to just grab another synthetic brush and start dabbing on the glitter. Keep your eye closed for that part because the glitter kind of free falls down your face because there, I didn't spray MAC Fix Plus or anything to the brush because I want it to easily just transfer to my eye without being wet. And I'm just continuing to pack it along and try to push and make sure I've got all that glue covered with the glitter. And now that you've got glitter all over your face, it is a great time to get out a fan brush and brush it away. And I have a little mini fan brush here from Laura Mercier. 
that I'm going to use because I have glitter everywhere and you will too. And I'm going to give this just a little bit of time to dry and then I'm going to go right back in with that big fluffy brush up at the top and just kind of buff a little bit and that way any glitter that's not actually stuck will come off and that way it's only in the places that you actually selected it to be in. So I'm going to pause the camera so you don't have to watch my glitter dry. Okay, it should be dry enough. And I'm just going to go at the top of where that glitter line is. And sort of brush back and forth. And that way anything that's loose will go ahead and fall off. And I really debated on this look between doing a really soft look but then I thought when I think of Dance of the Sugar Plum Fairies, I think of the ballet. And the ballerinas are always sparkly and shimmery and they put their hair up in buns and they have little tiaras. And I didn't go that far, but I definitely went all out with the glimmer and, and shimmer. And anyway, so now all there is left to do is I'm going to put my liner on my lashes and I'll be right back. Okay and there is the finished look. So I will bring you in so you can see a little better. Now I don't know if you can tell when I turn different ways there's actually different colored glitters in there. There's red and blue and green and yellow so it's not just purple that's what's really really cool about this glitter. Um, what I used on my face today is I used Bobbi Brown's BB Cream in medium. I used the Cover FX Illuminating Setting Powder. I did my normal routine here with my Benefit to color correct and then to illuminate I used my Estee Lauder Ideal Light Brush Pen and topped that with my Too Faced Prime and Poreless Powder. On my cheeks, I actually used a mineralized skin finish today rather than a blush because I really wanted to be glowy. So I used Max Mineralized Skin Finish in Rio. And look at this. This is gorgeous. Can you see all that? And I still highlighted my cheeks with Stila's Kitten, the all over shimmer. On my lips I used Tawny from Jordana in for my lip liner and then on my lipstick I used Creme de Nude from MAC and then I used this is the Nocturnals gloss collection this is the one in pink and I topped the creme de nude with this one. This is a cream sheen gloss and the color is Fashion Scoop. So and the tops are like that. I'm sure you guys have seen these if you've been on the MAC site. So that is what I used on my face. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please give me a thumbs up. If you've got any recommendations for my next one, Leave it down in the comment section because I, I want to try to keep this theme up at least until right before Christmas. So the only two songs I can think of right now is Silver Bells and I'll Have a Blue Christmas Without You. If you've got other songs in mind that you think would look really cool translated into a makeup look, leave it down in the comments if you have a uh, vote. If you want to vote on one of those two, go, go ahead and leave that in the comment section as well. And I will see you guys next time. Bye.